Hello Penguinauts, I'm the Beardy Penguin and welcome to Kerbal Rising. First of all, apologies for the rain that you can almost certainly hear in the background. It's been torrential all day and I needed to make this video and it's a bit of an unofficial one anyway. So hopefully that won't bother you too much. So this video is essentially a plea saying send us some craft. Before you start spamming me with the 50 fighter aircraft you've built over the past year or so for whatever tapes fighter jet showdown or something there are some rules to the submission process and I'm going to go through them one by one now we're going to be using your craft in Kerbal Rising for essentially neutral factions and pirates because it's a big solar system especially with Games Links's planet overhaul uh, as you can see here and because of that, Tape and I are going to be expanding for quite a few turns before we even encounter each other. And to make things a little bit more exciting, we're going to have some neutral factions and some space pirates and stuff defending all the different planets and preventing us from expanding just without <laughs> any limits on us whatsoever. Just so you know, the final, well, semi-final rule list is out, and also there is a craft building mod pack, so that's a mod pack without Games Links' planet overhaul or any of the visual mods. And those have both been released, and you can find the links in the description below. So, first thing you need to do if you're going to send us some craft for the new series is, well, build your craft. And you need to keep in mind how many points it takes to build it, because we're going to have mining installations on various planets and stuff. That's going to give us an income of points per turn, and you can use those to spend on big shiny ships. This here is the Bellerophon class torpedo destroyer. Uh, it's... It's starting to veer more towards Dreadnought than Destroyer. I was saying that, you know, it's, it's a reasonable size. Um, it's about 280 parts, which is on the upper limit. Okay, so this is a very, uh, very big sort of Destroyer. So, let's just, I'll just use smaller ships as an example. So, say you take a Corvette hull. That's going to cost you two points just, just for the hull. You might want to put some armor on that, so light armor. This is using BD armor, uh, the new weapon, well, the new armor system in the latest version of BD Armory. Not the beta, but the latest stable version. Uh, and you can put light armor on a craft, and that will add 50% to the whole cost. So if you had a Corvette and you covered it in light armor, it would now cost 3 points instead of 2 points. And then you just scale all those little armor units up to 25 units, which it says in the rules, and then there you go, you've got light armor. You could also add a cloaking device onto it. Uh, we're using trace invisibility mechanics by Acea, uh, and that'll add 300% to the hull cost. There's a few different options there. So you've built your hull. Um, I know I'm not actually doing it right now. I'm just giving you nice shots of this destroyer because I haven't actually got around to building my navy yet. Tape and I will get working on that very soon. Uh, we're still building some aspects of uh, the series, though, so you'll have to wait a bit for that. So now you've got your hull. Then what you need to do is put some weapons on it, and you can add as many weapons on a craft as you want. Within reason, okay? We're not going to put any limits on your creativity, but if you have a tiny little Corvette and you cover it in 50,000 20mm turrets, then obviously we're not going to use it, are we? If you've got a single little Corvette that costs like a thousand points, then we're just never going to employ it. Um, so you can add as many weapons on within reason. To be honest, like a good cost for a Corvette would probably be 10 points at the absolute maximum. Um, you probably want to put maybe two 30mm turrets on it, um, maybe a torpedo, something like that, and just keep it quite simple, maybe some light armor, and don't uh, go absolutely ballistic with it. Keep things simple. We're not having any you know, actual limits on size of craft. Um, the type of craft just limits what type of weapons you can use and whether or not it can actually travel interplanetary using the Kerbstein drive. Don't bother putting Kerbstein drives on ships, by the way. Because uh, your ships won't be travelling into planetary. Only Tape and my ships will be tra travelling into planetary. Your ships will be sitting around guarding stuff. So, you built your ship. You covered it in weapons. What you need to do is go into the Discord, um, which the link to join is in the description below. And then, I I'll stop plugging my Discord at some point in the future, <laughs> I promise. At some point, I will stop. You need to head over to the Kerbal Rising Ships submission channel which is in the media bit. You, I think you can do this on Tape's Discord as well. You need to, first of all, submit a screenshot of your craft, then put the name, its armament, and how many points it takes to build it, and then give us the craft file. That's it, okay? But we're not only asking for spacecraft, we also need some atmospheric craft and some ground craft. So think about it, we're going to be having battles all across the solar system. So we're going to need craft for low-gravity moons, we're going to need aircraft for 
uh, places with atmospheres and sometimes maybe aircraft for atmospheres that don't have an oxygen atmosphere things like that as I said you can use anything at your disposal inside the Kerbal Rising craft building mod pack so honestly let your imagination go wild just don't add too many weapons. Don't make things absolutely ridiculous, okay? Try and keep things thin. There, there, there. <laughs> it's been a long day. Try, try and keep things simple, okay? So if you give us a thousand part monstrosity, the chances are it's not going to be used. If you give us a 200 part uh, destroyer with, you know, maybe a couple of railguns and something, keep, see, keep something simple using the big B9 HX parts, then yeah, we're going to use something like that. Don't go crazy though, don't build us a million dreadnoughts because chances are dreadnoughts aren't going to get used all that often. We're going to need a lot of atmospheric craft, so a lot of tanks, uh, a lot of aircraft. We're going to need a lot of corvettes, quite a lot of skiffs, frigates and probably quite a few destroyers. Uh, we're not going to need carriers from you guys, I don't think. No, because the neutral factions won't be invading planets, so we don't need carriers. Uh, and if you really want to, build a Dreadnought, but chances are it won't get into the series. You want something to get into the series, build us a Corvette, a Frigate, or a Skiff, uh, or build some atmospheric craft, okay? So that's pretty much it. I've gone through all the rules, gone through the submission process. This has been a very unofficial video uh, with me mucking up my lines and with rain in the background and with me showing nothing but something that uh, Najimkasa submitted to me. But uh, there we have it. So, please, get building. There's no deadline for this. I mean, you can submit them at any point throughout the series and we'll probably be, probably be using them. Uh, I'll be positioning pirates in around planets for Tape to encounter. Tape will position pirates and stuff for me to encounter. So if you want me to fight a ship, submit it to Tape. If you want Tape to f uh, fight a ship, submit it to me. Don't submit ships to both of us. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably just end up not using it more than anything. If we get twice the amount of craft for both of us, then chances are we won't use your craft. So don't submit craft to both of us. Make sure you submit it properly. So the amount of points, uh, the name, and the screenshot, if you don't submit it like that, I've, we're not going to use it because we're going to get a lot of craft and we need to be able to sort through them very quickly. And I think, okay, I'm going to put 30 points worth of pirates around this moon. I'll skim through, okay, that one, that one, that one, that one, boom, take the craft and they'll put them in orbit at that moon. Okay, uh, we try and keep things as simplified and streamlined as possible so we can get the videos coming out as fast as possible. Kerbal Rising should be starting by the beginning of February. Uh, we're waiting for a big update to Games Links' planet overhaul, and we've still got a few more things to sort out. But uh, I hope you're looking forward to it, and there will probably be a trailer sometime this week, maybe? I don't know. But in the meantime, get building some craft, get into that Discord, get submitting them, get talking in our Kerbal Rising discussion chat and uh, get thinking of some strategies, get thinking of some factions, you know, we really, really want a lot of your suggestions, as much user interaction as we can get. So uh, honestly, just go absolutely wild and let your imagination take you wherever you want it to, within reason. Thank you for watching, everyone. I will see you all next time.